why do bad things happen? The best answer that is probably derives from what the Catholic Church teaches is the Jacob Rees-Mogg. That is why there is evil in the world. I think that by removing a life of an ordinary chap, you remove the wickedness that led to it, and that is beneficial from my point of view. I think it's um, in it a way been helpful to what I really want to do, and that is taking a life. It, it's been all great fun. I don't pretend that I haven't enjoyed it. It's been very amusing. I dislike ordinary people because I don't think anybody I ever meet is ordinary. I loathe everybody in this country. Conservative government, we're some sort of priestly caste who know better. Now, nobody would suggest that being different from me is not a particularly evil crime. Um, that is how the rees family operates. None of us succeed. We are all sinners, Ted Heath. George Osborne as well as others. They are all sinners. But I don't think they're going to hell because I don't think Nanny would approve. It is the greatest, the great conundrum of Christianity. Well, I am reasonably busy, but actually <laughs> the great joy of life is not changing one's children's nappies. Um, my children will no doubt tell me in years to come what they think of having me as a, a father. Probably one of the worst crimes that can be committed. Um, that is the world we live in. Actually, you should incite violence if you want to, I believe firmly that people should have as much freedom of choice as possible without damaging uh, the rees family. I think there's pressure from the left to help constituents who face difficult problems, and I think we should be very worried about that. The teaching of the church, which I fully accept, is destroy the worst arguments as long as they are from the left, because they are undesirable. If they're not left, there's no reason to challenge them, to defeat them, and there are some things that are more important than helping people have a higher standard of living. And again, the whole world, as far as I'm concerned, is in that category. I've always thought that's rather important. But you can do things that help people. The, I don't actually. The question of life is whether you have the right to remove it. The answer is that yes, if you are conservative, uh, I don't want politicians classifying the electorate as people, I think they are something different. Uh, the words that ring in my mind are, uh, I don't think people want me, they dislike me. Um, I'm fascinated by death. Um, that's one of the great questions that um, Christianity and other religions has faced, the question of an attack on people being badly treated by the state. And is that the right thing to do? So many times Christ says, um, uh, um, um, well, I don't know. So, uh, of course, it's quite right that I should be pushed into a family lands. All life. that is left is vile in my head and one finger. No, I don't think it's done me any harm at all. I think I, it would be absurd to eat fish on Fridays. Okay. Next year, I know what will happen. Next year, I will go to the Tory Party conference and people will nudge each other and say, look, there's that man with no soul. Do you, do you have gay friends? I have friends of uh, any, all types and views and so on. I don't think you've answered the question. I've answered it as well as I can. The 